After you have deployed a template, the best place to start is the one Home Start by clicking here. We've given it an obvious name just in case you need a helping nudge. Inside this book you will find a welcome page with instruction on how to secure the plan so that you are the only person who has access to it. By default it is available to everyone in your tenant. So it's a good idea to do this if you're going to customise the template and import your own data. You can move to the next page by clicking the button or by clicking the tab at the top of the page. On the introduction page you'll find some information about the template and a short introductory video to watch. The navigating this template sheet is where the link to this video can be found, plus some additional information about the icons you might meet in this template. Lastly there is the home page with buttons that link to all of the other books in this template. Notice this page also has a number of icons. These are indicating that there is both information and associated learning for these topics. For example, this first book is Analysis. It has a mortarboard with an icon which directs you to the guided tutorial where you can learn more about analysis and data entry techniques. The light bulb icon indicates information specific for this book. The guided tutorials can be found on the Start Something New page. Let's look at each of the books in more detail. In the Contribution and Analysis section, the first book is primarily for analysis. As the name suggests, it has a number of pre-built analyses populated with sample data. Take some time to understand these before customising the template with your own structures and data. Visualisations help you examine profitability by recipient and allocating department, using the selectors to focus on the data you are interested in. You can explore profitability before all costs have been allocated and again after allocations have been assigned. Further visualisations allow you to compare pre-allocation profit with actual profit to look at revenue or to do an ad hoc analysis as required. This book is located in the To Planners and Viewers folder and can be accessed directly from here if required. If you invite others to collaborate with you on this plan, you can set permissions for this book or for the folder, which could save effort if you have several books that you want to have the same permissions as all books inside a folder can inherit the permissions of that folder. The second book in the Contribution Analysis section is the Allocation Cycle book. Here you can follow the process, reviewing the overheads that will be allocated, setting the allocations, iterations and choosing the relevant drivers. It allows you to examine the cost through the allocation steps, allowing you to determine what is working and where there is room for improvement. The next section covers administration. The integration and automation book contains information regarding the administration for this specific template. Here you are guided through the steps you may require, such as updates to the allocator or recipient dimensions, modifying or adding new drivers, rolling into new time periods, or updating versions. Some steps require a process to update the data. In this example, we have a file as a data source for updating profitability data. The template has an example file that has been placed into the process, but you can replace this with your own. Be aware that you need to label the columns correctly and have the correct format. In this case, one column for each of the dimensions, noticing the measures we're bringing in of overheads, revenue, cost of sales, and then the final column with the values in. You can drag your file into the file area, use next to validate and review the file and ensure that it fits the format correctly, save it and then you can run it to bring in your own data. The second administration book is common to all templates and allows you to configure access and rights for this plan. If you didn't change the default access, which allows everyone to have access to your plan when you initially started working with it, you can do so from this book. You can also invite other users, initially as plan administrators, but with the capability to reduce their access as required. Access is controlled by group inside of the plan. There are three security groups set up for your convenience, modeler, contributor 
and reviewer. The cube access for each group has been preset, but you can change it if you need to. You can also add more security groups should you require additional access configurations. For a user to have access to a cube, they must have at least read access to the dimensions that make up that cube. The next books are under the Model Understanding section. These allow you quick access to the structures that make up the plan. In the Dimensions book, the introductory page has a view with a full list of all of the dimensions and hierarchies in the model. This will update if more dimensions or hierarchies are added. The other pages in this book display the main dimensions in the model, those which are most likely to change having a page of their own. The system dimensions such as the measures for each of the cubes are less likely to change and are grouped together on the last page. In the cubes book under model understanding there is a flowchart to help you understand both the data flow and any definitions that are used. There's a list of the cubes in the model and this will be automatically updated if you add any new cubes. Each cube is set onto a page and if there are business rules associated with it then the rules editor is displayed below. You may need to enable the line wrapping to see rules more easily and also you may need to scroll down if there's a long list of rules. Be aware that some cubes do not have business rules associated with them. The final book is the processes book. Here there is one main page with a process editor on it. You can use the drop down at the top of the process to select the process that you wish to review, making sure that it is focused on the correct database. You'll be interested in reviewing the script using the enable line wrapping to see the text more clearly. Review any comments to give you some context of the process. Be aware that some processes, such as this add security group, uses a parameter. We have group name, which is then collected at runtime. You type in the group name into the parameter box. As we saw in the integration and automation book, some processes, such as the update profitability data, will use a file as a data source, and you can review these here. In summary, you can start from the home page in one home, start by clicking here book and navigate to all of the different books in the plan. And from the introductory page of each book, you can navigate back to home or to any other book, making it easy to move around the plan.